Hello and welcome everyone to this live episode on advanced app app for rap developers or rappers. Welcome to this second episode of this video series on advanced app app syntax. Many of you attending my restful application programming training and you are coming from the core app app background. You are not very comfortable with the latest app app syntax starting at US 7.4. In order to help you, this is a free video series on YouTube to guide you with the new ABAP syntax. By far in the last video, we have talked about the inline data declaration. In our current video, we are going to discuss about value expressions. The value expression allows you to create new data objects on the fly based on the data type. You can also use hashtag to represent the generic data type depending on the target data object. We will learn about value with the type and value with the hash. So let's go ahead and discuss how to use value expression to create new data objects in ABAP. I will head over back to our ADT tool. By far in this example, we learned inline declaration. So now I'm going to add one more function for value expression. So let's put a method season one value expression. And now I am just introducing the implementation for this value expression in the system. So add the implementation in the class Maybe we can just create at the bottom. Value expression. Perfect. Now, in the class, we are going to write the logic. So usually in traditional ABAP, you first declare types. After declaring the types, you create data variables. So let me show you creating a types. Begin of PY, let's say, game. I will have the captain name of a game. I will have the team name. And I will have the score. So this is my data type which I have created. And now in traditional ABAP, you declare a internal table using this type. You also can create a table type, TT game type table of TY game with default key. Now, what we do is we usually create an internal table, type the table type, and then we create a structure type the structure type. In order to fill the internal table, we first fill our structure, our work area, ls game dash captain, ls game dash team name, and also ls game dash score. So let's put here Tony, CSK, and then we will append LS game to LTG. This is what traditionally we do in SAP to fill our internal table. Of course, you can put a subroutine or a sub function to add the data. So then we have, after Dhoni, we have Virat. Let's put here BLR or RCB. Then we can have, let's say, another player name, Dravid. And I can say Mumbai. Yes. So I have got here, here the data inserting into a table. 
and then we will print this data to the user on the UI. So we loop at LD game into LS game and loop, we write the data. This is what we do in traditional ABAP as a developer to fill our internal table with the data and display the data to the user. Now I can activate and test this code by pressing F8 and run my function value expression. We should see the data being displayed on the UI. I forgot to call my expression, so I have to call it also. S1 value expression. And then I can activate. And let's test the same. I call value expression. And I can see my data Dhoni, Virat, and Dravid. It's coming on the UI. Fantastic. So this is a very simple internal table creation and adding the data. Now, imagine if I need to create internal table in a more easy manner. I can actually bye-bye to all this code. Control 7. And now what I can do, I can use the value expression. So I can say my game table is equals to value expression. And here I have to provide the data type. Yes. Now, since the ABAP engine already knows the data type, you can see we have already provided the data type to the internal table. The ABAP engine by this line already knows what's the data type. I can directly use hashtag because ABAP knows the data type. Yeah. So I don't need to put here the type of the data. I can just say hashtag. And now I can add my values. So values or the records are added one by one. Let's say record one, space, second parenthesis record two, space, third parenthesis record three, and so on. So that's the way we will be adding our records one after another. So let's add the record one. We will have again the captain name. Just a bit of modularization team score. In a very similar way, we will have the second record. And in a very similar way, we will have the third record. So this is the way we have three records. So here, first we have Dhoni, CSK, Virat, RCB and we have Dravid for MI. So this is our data now. So you can see how simplified the code is now when it creates to building your data objects on the fly. The good news is imagine this would have been a function module parameter or it would have been a class parameter which you are passing. You don't have to even create the internal table because this whole thing itself, your data object with the data. You can pass this whole thing in the signature of your function or function module directly. You don't have to go ahead and create a separate internal table. If you got to pass this data to a function module directly, you can do that. System automatically allocate the memory and also inserts the data into that. Wow, superb. The result is going to be same. I can just go ahead and execute. Once again, value expression and you see the result is same. Perfect. Now, imagine I would like to combine the last class concept, which is the inline data declaration together with value expression. So I will also comment out these two lines and come here to declare my data. So I'm doing now inline data declaration, which I taught you in the last episode. If you've not seen the last episode, kindly check the description of this video 
where we linked the last episode. I will put that and now computer don't know the data type because earlier computer know the data type, but now it's inline declaration. So you can see system is giving me an error that the data type cannot be derived. It doesn't know where the data type is. So we have to explicitly mention our data type now over here that I would like to allocate memory according to this particular table type. And that data should be passed to this table, which is declared using inline data declaration. So this is another variance of value expression. With the value expression, you can also create a structured data as well as internal tables on the fly with the data set. All right, let me execute. Activate that. And you can see we are also getting error at the structure level. So let's also do the inline data declaration over here as well. And I can activate. Perfect. Got activated. I run it and I get the same data output. So value expression helps you to declare your data objects on the fly. If the data type is known to the ABAP compiler, then it will be able to allocate it with the hashtag. But if the data type is not known as you are using the inline data declaration in this case, you have to specify the type very, very clearly in the expression. I hope you enjoyed this video on value expression. For more videos like this, kindly subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon. Please share this video with your fellow colleagues so they can also take advantage of our training on advanced ABAP for wrappers. With that, Anubha signing out. Thank you so much for joining this session. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a nice day. Goodbye.